Sometimes you can just see it coming, even when the character doesn't. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 foreshadowed deaths in horror movies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're excluding unseen deaths that were hinted at after the fact, such as Norman Bates' mother. She's as harmless as one of those stuffed birds. Since we are discussing character deaths, consider this your spoiler alert. Number 10. Keith Jennings Loses His Head, The Omen Do you notice anything unusual? Richard Donner's 1976 hit pits Gregory Peck against the spawn of Satan himself. As young Damien grows up, those around him start to mysteriously die. Photographer Keith Jennings, played by horror icon David Warner, realizes that the manner of their deaths is foreshadowed in photographs, including his own. To his horror, his reflection in one of the photos shows a long black slash where his neck should be. Sure enough, while he's retrieving daggers that could put an end to Satan Jr., a runaway truck rolls down an incline, and a loose pane of glass reenacts the photo. The now classic decapitation of Warner was reimagined in the lifeless remake, but there's no substitution for Donner's horrific set piece. And if you don't do it, I will. Number 9. Annie and Her Family – Hereditary Don't you ever raise your voice at me! I am your mother! Ari Aster's directorial debut kept a lot of heads inside car windows. After the death of her secretive mother, Toni Collette's Annie starts to learn things about her mysterious dealings in the occult. Family resentments boil over, as do supernatural occurrences that lead to her and her husband's demise. The movie culminates in her eldest child Peter becoming the host of the demon Payman. The deaths of Peter's parents and his own damnation are foreshadowed by references to Greek tragedy. As his classmate explains, it's all inevitable. They're caught up in the machinery of fate and in denial all the while. They're all like pawns in this horrible, hopeless machine. Number 8. Sarah's Friends – The Descent This is it! Director Neil Marshall's first big hit in the US spells out the gruesome deaths of Sarah's friends with an ominous birthday cake. Following the tragic death of her husband and daughter, adventurer Sarah continues the tradition of gathering with her five girlfriends, this time to spelunk in the Appalachian Mountains. Things go awry immediately, with a cave-in and the revelation that the cave is uncharted. Even before the cannibalistic humanoids attack, we're already in a state of constant terror from paranoia, claustrophobia, and the dark. Throughout the film, Sarah has recurring nightmares about her daughter blowing out five birthday candles. She blows them out one by one, just as the girls are brutally picked off. Number 7. Dean Armitage – Get Out You're jealous! Jordan Peele's directorial debut is rich with social commentary, addressing issues of privilege, racism, and colorblindness. As Rose drives her boyfriend Chris to meet her family, she accidentally hits a deer with her car. It's an ominous sign of what's to come, since Rose is secretly leading Chris to the slaughter, or a fate worse than death. It also foreshadows the death of Rose's father. Dean keeps a mounted deer's head on the wall, the same head he's later impaled on. It's one of the less subtle moments in a film filled with racial overtones and foreshadowing, but it's satisfying nonetheless to see Chris killing Dean with one of the very things he's objectified. Number 6. Play fighting turns into the real thing. Kill list. On guard. <laughs> Daddy's promised to do bedtime tonight. Ben Wheatley's hitman occult thriller is one of the most brutally unforgiving horror films in recent memory. In one scene, Jay plays with his wife and child before carrying out a series of contract killings. But never has playful roughhousing foretold such a mean-spirited death. During a job, the film shifts from crime to horror as occult symbols and rituals start to become apparent. At the film's climax, Jay is forced to fight a hunchback, killing it with a knife to the back. The reveal? It wasn't a hunchback at all, but his wife and child, reenacting their horseplay from earlier, only with real weaponry. Number 5. Kurt Vaughn's Jump of Fate – The Cabin in the Woods Early in this film, a bird flies into an invisible electrified barrier, dropping into a canyon. Later, as the characters try to make their escape, Chris Hemsworth's Kurt tries to make the canyon jump on his dirt bike. From there, it's just a matter of time. A death made funnier by the heroic build-up to the inevitable. Joss Whedon's script for The Cabin in the Woods dismantles every horror movie trope imaginable. I am never gonna see a merman. A fan of irony, Whedon loads the film with foreshadowing, such as office drone Steve Hadley's fatal desire to see a merman. Oh, come on! <laughs> Number 4. Ed's Fun-Filled Plan – Shaun of the Dead You know what we should do tomorrow? 
keep drinking. I'll have a bloody merry first thing. Imagine waking up one morning, hungover, and the entire city is infested with zombies. That's the premise of director Edgar Wright's love letter to zombie movies. Oblivious to his surroundings, Sean not only neglects his girlfriend, but also a zombie apocalypse occurring around him. After a breakup, his best friend Ed lays out a plan for the next day, starting with a couple of Bloody Marys and ending back at the pub for shots. Sure enough, the first zombie the two encounter is named Mary, and by the end, they're back at the pub. Ed's relegation to the shed is even foreshadowed by their housemate. You wanna live like an owl? Go live in the shed! Number three, Gage Creed, Pet Cemetery. Sometimes, dad is better. When big city doctor Lewis Creed moves his family to the country, he expects peace and quiet. Here's just one problem, the main road, which is plagued with speeding tanker trucks. Lewis's son Gage is almost run over early on in the film, and the jogger Victor Pascal actually is hit and dies. Elderly neighbor Judd warns Lewis about keeping his daughter's cat Church away from the road. But just to add more foreshadowing, Church is also run over. Poor Gage really doesn't stand a chance. Hey, what do you expect from a Stephen King adaptation? In the remake, it's Lewis's daughter Ellie who's run over. But there are the same signs foreshadowing her demise. Number two, what's in the box? Seven. Come on over there. Put the, put the gun I down. saw you with the box. Seven is considered a genre staple for fans of both detective thrillers and horror. Retiring detective Somerset, played by Morgan Freeman, teams up with a new partner for his last case, a serial killer whose murders are based on the seven deadly sins. If one thing sticks in viewers' memories, it's what we don't actually see. Gwyneth Paltrow's head in a box. Except that David Fincher, notoriously a stickler for details, does actually show the audience her head framed in a window earlier in the film. It's one of the numerous subtle details the director has become known for. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Celebrate this little siesta, what do you say? Are you serious? <laughs> This is so unlike him. The late Dr. Foley. Clay. Yeah. Oh, I yes. feel dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number one. Pretty much everybody, Final Destination. The Final Destination franchise is made up entirely of foreshadowed deaths. After escaping a plane explosion due to a premonition, teens and teachers of an aborted high school trip to France are picked off one by one by death itself. Todd, who mimes strangling himself on the plane, is, well, strangled to death. And Terry, who gets hit by a bus, is earlier seen with a picture of a bus behind her. Terry's last words are all too fitting. Then you can just drop f***ing dead. Every character, whether they notice it or not, is given a hint that they're on death's checklist. Although, Valerie's elaborate Rube Goldberg machine death was a little harder to predict. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.